In this demonstration, we will make a design change to the ship. Once approved, the changes will be transferred to the sister ships in the class. In this case, the drill feeders needed to be repositioned inboard to improve performance based on the sea trials of a previous design. Using an ad hoc process, a third-party PLM system, or automatically from SSI's shipbuilding PLM, a ship constructor task can be created for the ECO, as shown here. To allow greater control and visibility on changes, subtasks can be created and assigned to individuals or teams. For this change, we need to include the structural and outfitting teams. We will now execute the change and reposition the drill feeder units. As part of this change, there are many flow-on effects. Notably, any connecting pipe systems and impacted structure will need to be modified. If the build phase has begun, production drawings will also need to be updated. Design teams can work through these changes under the tasks they were assigned. As the changes are made, they are captured and recorded under each subtask. With a complex change, it can be difficult to visualize and track what has been done. In this case, we'll look at the structural sections, mechanical systems, and equipment in the affected area. We can easily compare the changes between multiple configurations in the project. Red represents deleted parts, green new parts, blue modified parts, and yellow the modified parts from the original. Turning off the original model shows only the latest configuration. To further investigate changes, we can spotlight systems, assemblies, parts, or view the work carried out under individual tasks or subtasks. For example, we can look at just the work completed under the first subtask, as shown here. In addition to the geometry from the 3D product model, we can view the properties of individual parts. To help us understand what we are seeing, we can show the different types of parts in different colors. Additionally, we can color portions of the model based on the value of any available properties. If at any time we see something we'd like to investigate further, we can automatically switch to that portion of the product model in Ship Constructor. Once the changes have been approved, we need to intelligently pass those changes on to the sister ship or ships. As we have made all of the changes under a single task, we can simply select the task and the sister ship where the changes are required. Changes made to the product model are synchronized down to the part level. Before the changes are automatically made to the sister ship, we can review a detailed list of the changes or preview the changes visually in 3D. After reviewing the impact of the changes on the sister ship, we can begin the transfer. The changes have now been made to the sister ship or sister ships and a log file can be viewed. In this situation, a task was the best way of capturing the items we wanted to transfer as part of the overall change. As called for by each unique situation, we can transfer everything from individual parts to entire systems or assemblies. With the required changes completed and tracked, the updated product model and associated drawings can be viewed in Ship Constructor and Ship Explorer. For more information, visit www.ssi-corporate.com.